So, some really bad news, and I'm gonna start crying. I just realized my overcompensation, my exposure compensation dial was turned to two stops overexposed. So I really hope my images don't come out all overexposed, otherwise I'm gonna be extremely upset. There's no way of knowing now. What is going on guys? Welcome to this week's video. We are gonna do something a little experimental today, which I'm super excited about. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. We do photography stuff here. So if that's something that you're into, maybe like, subscribe, stick around for the rest of the video. But let's get into it. Today, I'm shooting this film, Lomography Lomochrome Metropolis. So I believe it just came out in 2020. So just last year, and it's like a new color negative film and it's got a, a really cool look to it. And I thought it would be really interesting to give this film a try as well. So we're gonna load this up, of course, into the Canon A1. And I'm of course gonna take you guys um, to the shoot and give you my first impressions after that, of course. All right, we are at the first location today, which is right around Ontario Place. It's super sunny, and with this film, I've heard that it gets really muted when it's in like direct sunlight. So I also want to try and go downtown where it's a bit more shady, but I definitely wanted to try this area first because there's some water, and there's even some examples on the box of like photography or photos with like water and buildings in the background. And you can also see the skyline a little bit there. So I think it'll be sick. Um, here first I'm gonna try and do half the roll and then half the roll um, later when I go downtown but one thing I also forgot to mention about this film is it's variable so you can shoot it at 100 to 400 ISO I think I'm gonna go with 200 today because it's super bright outside and also it's kind of right in the middle so yeah let's go we got the GoPro got the Canon A1 so let's go All right, we are in Ontario Place now. Um, I've only ever been here for like concerts and stuff. Uh, I'm a little bit worried because it's really bright. So I hope it doesn't mess up the film too much. And then also, it's freezing, man. <laughs> So far so good, I think. Um, I think I wanna do some more like street photography. So I think I'm gonna head downtown a little bit earlier. Um, this is 
interesting area. I'm like by this like weird sphere thing, but uh, yeah, I don't know. And I think it'll be good because a lot of these colors are desaturated and muted anyways. There's a lot of like gray and white. So I think it'll turn out good on the Metropolis, but I think now it's time to actually go into the Metropolis and take some photos there. So I know I said I was gonna leave Ontario Place, but then of course walking back, I kind of started getting distracted and going off. Um, and I took a few more photos and actually that last one, if I look at the, the box of the, the Metropolis film, it's like this woman lying in a bikini on some rocks, water, and then a skyline in the background. And I didn't get a woman in a bikini on rocks because it's winter in Toronto, but I got a woman in her winter jacket sitting on rocks, water, and then the Toronto skyline. So that's pretty cool. Um, I kind of was like, in my head, I was like, that would be sick if I could get a photo like that. That's kind of why I came to Ontario Place, because I knew I could get some water uh, in the foreground with the skyline. Anyways, there's one more shot that I really want to get over by the Entercare Center. So I'm gonna go over there, take that shot, and then head downtown. I actually went down to kind of like the exhibition loop where a bunch of streetcars kind of go and I was like, this is the Metropolis vibe that I'm looking for. So now I think I'm, I'm done in this area. I got 18 shots left. So I'm literally exactly halfway through the world, which is nice because that's kind of what my original plan was. So I'm gonna hop back in the car, warm up a bit, and then go downtown. Okay, we are right downtown now, second location or area of the day. I'm actually gonna keep my mask on, one for safety and two, because it's actually keeping my face way warm. So I can't complain about that. Let's go get some street photography, photo shots, photography. Mm -hmm. So we're at the second sort of area of the day. We're like right downtown in the metropolis. And I just thought this would be a great area for this film because of like all the buildings. I think it'll look really cool. One area that I think will look really cool with this film is City Hall. So I'm gonna head there and of course along the way, take some shots. bad news and I'm gonna start crying 
I just realized my overcompensation, my exposure compensation dial was turned to two stops overexposed. So I really hope my images don't come out all overexposed. Otherwise, I'm going to be extremely upset. There's no way of knowing now. Also very curious about how this film is gonna perform like underground and like what that would look like in that kind of lighting situation so I'm gonna go down the subway again also I'm hoping that because this film can be like a variable ISO from 100 to 400 I'm hoping the overexposure doesn't affect it too much And we are back with some more thoughts and talks. I, of course, have to give you guys my opinion and thoughts on this film. Uh, so first off, it was a great day of shooting. It was nice and sunny, although it was kind of cold, but still had like a lot of fun and just exhausted at the end of the day, which is always a great feeling. And so let's go over this film, Lomography Lomochrome Metropolis. Color negative film, variable ISO from 100 to 400, and the results were interesting to say the least. I found they were kind of all over the place, and now this may have been completely my fault because, well, for the first half of the photos, I accidentally overexposed them by two stops because I had the exposure compensation dial on my camera set to two stops accidentally, I think when I was adjusting the ISO with like the gloves on. Anyways, so that definitely messed up like the first half of the shots. A lot of them were way overexposed and just like no contrast in them whatsoever. So I did have to go in and kind of like edit that. And it's probably the most that I've ever edited any sort of film photos. Secondly, um, I don't know if it was like the lighting situation. Um, I've heard like, you know, really well lit situations can actually, you know, kind of mess with the colors a little bit but I'm gonna show some before and afters of when I edited these photos, but some of them came out completely whack, like a bunch. It literally looked like someone had taken a photo with their iMac on like photo booth and put the sepia tint on it. And I was literally like, what the hell is this? Like, and I don't know again, if there was the, this was the lighting, but some of my properly exposed images came out like that as well. Don't know if it was the scans. So I'm really curious. So once I get my negatives back, I'm actually gonna go ahead and scan them myself, see what the results are like and compare. So that's the film. I think some of them turned out exactly how I envisioned it in my head. Like when I actually got downtown and there were, you know, some more shadows shadows and stuff so I really like how some of the photos turned out so let's segue that into a few of my favorite photos so number one I have to say was this one of the woman sitting on the rocks you get a little bit of water and then the, a bit of the Toronto skyline with the scene tower and it very much mimics this photo here it's that the woman is in a bikini not a winter jacket and so it was actually really cool to kind of bring that 
and see that vision kind of like actually come to life in a photo. Second, this one of the CN Tower frame between these two buildings. I don't think it's anything special. I just really like how the colors turned out. This is an example of one of those shots of what I was really expecting with the Metropolis film. Next is this one of the streetcar going one way and the other streetcar going the other way. This is another example of where I think the colors turned out really great and what I was expecting to have that kind of like interesting and experimental kind of look. It's also really great because half of it is in shadow and then you can see the buildings in the background are lit with that golden hour light. And lastly, this kind of like fake Brookfield looking place. I used to walk down here all the time in the winter because it was like sheltered and warm on my way to work. Uh, and I just really like how, again, the colors turned out, the composition, and I actually shot this at 1 30th of a second handheld. So it's nice that it's actually like in focus and not any motion blurring or anything. I'm definitely going to be shooting with this film again. I think I have to make up for the mistakes that I did on the first half of the roll and also see how the photos turn out a second time around now that I have a better idea of how to shoot with this film because it is really interesting and I do want to get a bit more experimental with it this year so if you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching make sure to hit that like button if you liked it subscribe if you want to stick around for more film photography content and photography content in general and thank you so much for watching appreciate all the support i will catch you in the next one peace